Hello and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. It's been a little while, a couple of months I think, and in that time uh, the developers have released the next update, the Insects and Waterfall update. So right away you can see we're already in the insect uh, stage here on our on our save. Uh, we got there I think in the last or the episode previous to that, sometime during the last uh, update there was anyway, and we are continuing the same save as from before. Um, and we're 25% of the way to the next update, which or next stage rather, which is fish, which will be in the next update or the one after that, I presume. Uh, so we have, um, they have changed a few things around. Uh, first of all, biomass is now not a single measure, even though it's a single measure here. It's a sum of three separate measurements. And so what we need to do is go in here to the, to the, uh, to the base building screen and build a new screen. Um, and we're going to do that in a moment. Uh, we also need to look at a few of the other things that are new here in the base before we head out to explore some of the new biomes. Uh, there are three new biomes. There, as part of insects, there are bees and butterflies. Uh, bees lets you build beehives and collect honey. And uh, you can, oh, and silkworms as well. Uh, you can breed silkworms and produce silk and you can find and collect 15 new butterfly species, some of which I believe are only craftable uh, by incubating and maybe crossbreeding or something. Um, we're gonna go out and collect some larvae on the ground to pick up, f to incubate the, uh, the insects. Um, I don't know if it applies to just, uh, I guess it applies to all three uh, insects. Uh, we'll see. Uh, otherwise, the save file is unmodified from the last series we did a couple of months ago. Uh, let's see. So, um, as I said, the biomass is a new unit, uh, which is a sum of three separate uh, units, plants, insects, and animals. Animals having not been implemented yet, and, which will come, I'm assuming, with fish or starting with fish anyway, since fish would classify as animals other than the other two. Uh, we're going to have three new biomes. Uh, there's a couple of tweaks to um, to to a couple of machines, including a fusion generator. Produces a little bit less power, but uh, we're still fine. We have almost a... Um, uh, almost... Or about one whole fusion generator worth of power. Well, that's interesting. Fusion generators, it says they produce 1485. But I'm not sure that 1485 times 3... Oh, it is. Yes, and Alright, all right, that is 3. Uh, so we're almost a full fusion generator over on power, which is good because we uh, we do have our teleporters. We have the one here. We have the one that's way out to the uh, west in the areas we explored the last time. It's still there. Uh, we're going to grab the stuff and take with us so we can find... Put, put one down in wherever the new biomes are here once we find them. Uh, let's see. Um, larvae appears naturally in the world after the tree stage. So yeah, the larvae are just found on the ground. Uh, no big deal. Three new biomes, as I think I mentioned. And there are a bunch of new objects, and we're going to take a look at those now. So the first one is uh, the biomass screen. It's down here in the screen menu. We have the terraformation screen, of course. We have the progress screen, of course. Those are the two big ones. Uh, we have the blueprint, blueprint screen, of course. And we actually, there are some new blueprints that we can get a hold of. Um, and then uh, we have the energy screen, we have the transmission screen, we have the mapping screen, actually we have two of them. We have the orbital information screen, or is that new? That might be new too. Uh, sign, of course, and the biomass screen is new. So we have uh, orbital information. Yeah, that one's new too. So we're going to have to put up both of those. Okay, so let's take a look at what those take. Compass. Wait, I thought we had one of those. Did another thing? Oh, the, uh, the, sorry, the mapping screen takes a compass too. Compass, osmium, silicon. Iron, silicon, aluminum. Okay. Iron overflow. Uh, uh, silicon times two. Uh, osmium. And I think aluminum. Or I can't remember things. That's definitely one or the other. Super alloy. Osmium overflow. There we are. Uh, that didn't click. There we go. Uh, let's see. Mapping. I got it. Okay, good. Uh, orbital information screen. Oh, I need the, micro the compass microchips, too. Those are made... I guess I need the stuff to make those. Those are made here, I think. Uh, yep. All right, so two silicon, two magnesium, and four aluminum. Uh, silicon again back here. One, two, two magnesium, and four aluminum. Here we go. All right, let's do this crafting now. Uh, make these two chips first. Boom, and boom. 
And then this one. Orbital information screen. I'm just going to throw these on the ground here in front of the desk. I don't know what they do specifically, so we're going to see what they do. Well, that's what it does. It shows us how many rockets we sent. Oh, thank you so much, because I had no idea what that number was. Um, it tells us what G GPS and and uh, other other information rockets we've sent. Um, let's see, yeah, 29 seed spreaders, 7 asteroid attraction, 11 magnetic field protection, and 27 plants rockets. One or the other of these was the ones we could only send with the, um, probably this one, uh, was the one we could send only with the seed lermas, and there's a limited number, there's a limited number of those in the world, so, uh, whichever one of those we were limited upon. But, uh, then it gives us this nice planetary overview of, uh, of, well, first of all, the, I'm assuming this changes with the season, uh, not the season, the stages. So now you can see there's clouds and water and everything, but also the alleged orbits of all of those, uh, um, rockets or the satellites from those rockets and then uh, the biomass screen is a big one. Oh boy that's a big one uh, that means I don't have room for it what about putting it like well crap wait why I guess I can't put that on the floor what about over here will you go there yes you will okay there we go so plants plus insects plus animals yields biomass. Uh, obviously, all of ours is tied up in plants right now because we literally just got to be able to make insects. And animals is grayed out because it's it's not available yet in the game, but it also uh, could be grayed out because we haven't reached the stage for animals yet. So we're going to leave both those screens put up. Uh, we also have a few other buildables here that are um, that are available. I don't think there's anything new in base building. Uh, here in machines, we have a few choices, a few new choices here. I think they're all here at the end. Uh, incubator, and we also are low on health. Uh, incubator, beehive, and butterfly farm. Let me see to make sure that we have yep those are the three new buildables so we're going to want to make all three of those at least one of each as a part of this uh, tree mark tree bark two tier two fertilizers super well, a tier two fertilizer super alloy and oxygen uh, this is uh, beehive you need bee larva super alloy fertilizer and bioplastic nugget and the butterfly farm is fertilizer tier two zeolite and bioplastic nugget the only thing we might not have any of is the bioplastic nuggets and then down here uh nothing is new um i thought there was supposed to be a butterfly display case though uh there was Maybe I have to unlock that yet, some way or another. Let's look at the blueprint screen. Actually, let's, let's do more than look at the blueprint screen. Let's go over here to um, miscellaneous. No. Uh, where did I put all those chips at? Wait, why do I have an extra mic compass microchip? Did not... I'm dumb. I made two. Uh, we need some water and we need some, we need some food. Let's go take care of that real quick. Let's go get some water. Couple of gulps there. New message received. Okay, well that might tell us something. And uh, food is here. There we go. Messages. Our sensors detected that, a, that the conditions on your planet should allow for the apparition of wild larvae in, in surface. Use those larvae in the incubator to breed endemic species of bees and butterflies. Those species are required to fulfill your mission and increase the speed of your terraforming process. You are closely watched. Let us remind you that you shouldn't use the communication device to contact anyone else but Sentinel Corp. Well, I thought we weren't even allowed to contact them. Uh, so, I, where do I put all my blueprint thingies? Did we lose them all? Oh, here they are. I'm gonna grab a few, um, and we're gonna go here, and we will decode one. New blueprint received. Fence. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. There is just one. So I have to see where we get the the uh, butterfly uh, butterfly display case. There might also be a butterfly dome too. Maybe some of those are actually made here. No, there's nothing new there. These are only just the tiers and things like that. Uh, nothing new here. That's a fusion energy cell that we made in the last episode of the previous series. Let me put this in the sh nah. Uh, uh. I'll put it here. Other side. Other side. 
Put it in the box. Push the button. Get out the stuff. Um, and then I want to also pack enough stuff to make a teleporter. Which is a super alloy rod, osmium zeolite, and three pulsar quartzes. Uh, what's the rod cost? I don't think we have any of those made. Uh, eight super alloy and an aluminum. Okay. So let me put away some of this stuff. Grab that super alloy now. That's eight in aluminum. And then it was something and something and something. Osmium zeolite and three pulsar quartz. Zeolite, uh, osmium was over here. And the pulsar quartz is I had back over here somewhere. Definitely want to take those with us. Uh, were they here? Yeah. Yeah, just enough, and then um, that'll get us enough stuff to put down a teleporter wherever this new stuff is. And then the final thing we might want to take with us is the usual water, food, and air supply. Um, I think that's fine. Some ice that I could still turn into something if I wanted to. I don't. Uh, what about enough stuff to build a base? Yeah. Two iron and a titanium. Three iron, two titanium, and one silicon. Three iron. Two titanium. And one silicon. Sort of place. That'll give us enough stuff to build a base. We could take enough stuff to build a crafting station too. But I don't think I need it. I really don't. Okay, so um, if we come out here... Uh, actually, let's, let's not come out here. Let's look at the map first. Uh, we're here, of course. Let's zoom out. That looks new. First off, that looks new. Um, so maybe we'll just go there to start with. We could. Uh, what else looks new? That's the crater from the last update. This is, of course, the the um, area we've been in before, the zeolite cave, the uh, the osmium cave that we tunneled through fairly early on here, and then found out that it connects over here somehow as well. I can't remember exactly how this way maybe or something. Then we had our pod here, and that um, our other teleporters out here someplace. We're gonna beam there real quick, just so we can get another peer at the map. It looks as if this is the edge of the map here. Uh, there could be more this way though, because this isn't quite the edge of that desert. Um, but we're definitely gonna come down here to the uh, south. But first of all, or first off, let's deconstruct this. There we are. And then uh, go here and beam ourselves to the arches where we left this teleporter at the last time. All right, we are here. We can hop in here just to have oxygen and then uh, build the mapping screen again. And it zoomed out all automatically by default. Uh, there's nothing new here. Uh, this is the, the this is the area we're in and this is the area, we, one of the areas we explored the last time. We explored this area uh, where we found that, that part of the wreck there. We explored the crater and then in the addendum for the last mini series, we found out that the third layer, the third new area region was up here on top of the uh, Iridium cave and it was called the Overlook or the, the something, something, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, there's, th this is definitely not anything new over here. Again, there could maybe be something up there, but I don't think so. So I think we're gonna, gonna go down to that area down here, which is not displaying properly on the map. Uh, that we saw uh, from the other um, from the other point of view. So let's beam ourselves back in here. Beam back to Wally Town. I'm going to leave that uh, teleport teleporter there because it's in a kind of a good central uh, western central spot um, that we so we can definitely go in and explore it. So I think um, while we're while we're wandering, we can or be maybe before we start wandering, we can look to see if we can find some uh, some of the larvae. Um, I think that makes sense. This should be on the ground, uh, per the update. So we just want to look down at the ground here. And see if we can find something new on the ground. That is silicon. That is not a larva. These are all rocks. They're not targetable. I don't know which, if they're in only certain biomes or how that's going to work. Um, I don't know if they're going to be lost here in the, in the, um, in the plants that I've left on the ground. Uh, who knows? Common larva. 
All right, we have one. So they're a little shiny, which helps uh, because then we can actually see them. And they could be lost in the in the grass and stuff here. What is that? Oh, it's just a shadow. Um, oh, by the way, the, the all the flower spreaders and tree, tree spreaders now, uh, they yield plant specifically, not biomass gen generically anymore, as we kind of assumed probably from the... Um, okay, those are all rocks. Uh, from the uh, um, from the screens, but uh, just to explicitly show that those now say plant, not just uh, biomass. Presumably, oh, we should also go upstairs to the uh, to the biodomes and see if there's anything new we can make from up there. There's another larva. So common larva here, I guess maybe is the uh, the uh, the part of the day. I don't know how many different types of larva there are. I don't know if it says somewhere in the instructions. Or in the in the patch notes, um, three is coming to mind, but that could also just be me making things up from the three different uh, types of insects we can get. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, so don't quote me on that. At least not right now. Maybe later. All right, I, I, we found three of them or so. Uh, we can go ahead and feed them into the, an incubator if we build an incubator. And that oh, here's another one. And that can go um, while we're doing something else, or while we're exploring, perhaps. Um, and we can do, um, and we can maybe pick some some less common or other than common larvae elsewhere. Eh. Not really able to fly and look at the ground at the same time. We've had a lot of experience with jetpacks and such in games lately. Ooh, there's one right there, right out here in the open. Um, it, lately, but I, um, none of them still feel easy to use. Uh, so let's go, actually, let's look at that recipe. We have five of them. Yeah, five. Oh, wait. Oh, one's a rare. Oh, nice. I missed that. All right. Um, I missed that it was one, I should say. Uh, let's go here to the incubator. Tree bark, tier two fertilizer, super alloy, and oxygen. Wait. Why did you think I don't have an oxygen capsule? Because I do. Pick one up. Uh, Super alloy? I think was what it was. Maybe it is, it's just weirdly colored. Tree bark and tier two fertilizer. I think I moved all the tree bark to here that I had down here. And there's a couple of tree seeds too. Uh, there's obviously more upstairs in the tree place. And then biomaterial or, there we are. Fertilizer tier two. More water here, uh, methane, algae. Uh, so yeah, we can build this now. Ooh, that's a big one. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't really have space for this. I may need to do a. We'll put it right here in the middle of the food place. I may need to do a little bit of uh, editing of the um, of the base a little here. So we have show DNA recipes. We can. Ah, uh, okay. So we can make butterfly bee. Uh, butter, butterfly azure, bee larva, butterfly pinga, uh, butterfly chevron, butterfly amel, butterfly liu, and silkworm. Uh, silkworm are uncommon. We have a rare and a bunch of commons. That's a... So the butterflies are all made from the rares, except for the first butterfly is made from common. Uh, we need mutagen and fertilizer no matter what. Okay. And what about this? Oh, this is where you just dump the stuff in to do the research. Okay. Let's go here and get a drink of water because I saw the alert. Gulp, gulp. And then we'll grab some mutagen. We have to make it. And fertilizer tier one. Oh, we have some mutagen. Oh, that's bacteria samples, not mutagen. Uh, fertilizer tier one, not two. Now let's see what the mutagen takes to make first because they don't remember. Bacteria sample, methane, and sulfur. Okay, well, we can make two of them right away. Methane and sulfur is here. I might have a box over there of sulfur. Yeah, I do. And in fact, we only can make one right now anyway, because I only made one, uh, one thingy. So we want to make... Um, we definitely want to make the the bee larva it would have an uncommon to make bee larva definitely want to make the butterfly azure because that's one of the common larva and then we're going to use uh the rare one of the rares to make either 
one of the other butterfly sp uh, species. So let's do this one, this one, and this one. Research. And then that'll give us a unknown source from a common larva. I don't know how long this is going to take. Eh, not too long. Um, hmm. I think I should put down another box. And I've got lots of iron, but I have it all for a reason, so I don't want to um, uh, screw anything up with that. Uh, in here, can I just put this like, you know, like this right on the end? Kind of melted into it even. Ooh, that's, I messed that up a little bit. You. What do we do from the center here? Oh, of course, it's not aligned perfectly. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, that one's almost done. We'll go ahead and do the other one, too, while we're here, then. And then we can just uh, stash what we could get from this for now, I think. Or we could perhaps build the uh, butterfly thingy while we're here. Ooh, look. Butterflies. Uh, butterfly farm. Use a zeolite, bioplastic nugget, and a tier 2 fertilizer. Zeolite's right here. Yep. Tier 2 fertilizer and bioplastic nugget. You and you. What do you got? Butterfly impaleo. Okay. And then we want to do the rare with one of these and one of those. Research, please. And start sequencing the rare butterfly. I'm going to drop these three butterflies in there as well as these two fertilizers. And let's do a butterfly farm. Insert butterfly larvae in it to increase insect levels. Do the inside or outside? And then once we have bees, we can do that. Uh, this looks like an outside thing. Okay. Uh, we could put this near some flowers. I think that, that makes logical sense. Uh, so we could put it here with the orange ones. We could put it over here with... Uh, that's not how that goes. Uh, over here with any of these. Uh, this is good. This is good. Right there. And then we can insert one of these. And we have butterflies. Nice. I like it. So as we continue doing research, we obviously need to gather up some things. Tree seed Cerna. Uh, blueprint received. I'm assuming those are ones we had before. I don't think there were new ones. Um, they changed the way that some of them worked. I honestly don't remember which ones we had before without looking um, at the trees themselves, and I scattered them all over this area, so I don't want to do that on camera at least. Uh, but I wanted to go up to here. No, this is home. This is the house. Uh, over here. Yes. This is... Okay, this is where we're unlocking things at. So... Um, now that we have insects, we're getting the, some more of the trees. Uh, we'll get high quality food. We'll get fabric. I'm assuming that comes maybe with the uh, silk. Um, we've got all these, but we knew about all these already. Yes, and these as well. Butterfly dome. Wait, where was that at? Is it in here? Ah, there it is. I missed it. Alright, we need to put one of those up too at some point. But I think we'll go do some exploration and we'll pop back and forth once we get out to that new biome and we'll also build some fences at some point but i mean they're just a fence like no offense but they're just a fence <clears throat> okay so i think we can uh you know what actually while i'm here why don't i no this isn't the right place why don't i go upstairs i think it's out now food yeah i need to eat some more food up again up again here we are and let's grab just a couple more of these bring them downstairs with us. I know I have four of these places, I think. I'm just going to take enough from two. Yeah, there's two more upstairs. Take enough from two, and we'll uh, we'll do more later. Um, I just wanted to bring some down since we were up this halfway this far, and uh, head down to the uh, to that storage and put some of that bark in, because we probably will need it if any of those tree species are new. So that way we're, we have it on hand. Oops, uh, not what I wanted, Wally. There and there. Uh, sort. That's what I wanted you to do. This is probably done. It is. We'd have to build another, um, uh, whatchamacallit for this? Although maybe we should since it's going to give us our in insect score really well. 
the, the butterfly spreader farm doohickey. Zeolite bioplastic nugget fertilizer tier 2. Yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of crafting because we're going to have to make some more fertilizer tier 2 pretty soon. Possibly some bioplastic nuggets. But uh, definitely some fertilizer 2s. Uh, let's just put this one out back here. Did I take that, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah. Butterfly Amel. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. I also don't know if anybody else knows, so I'm doing it anyway. Put that here, and then you can get in there like that. And they are purple. Nice. Uh, new blueprint received. High quality food. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of dings on that, I think, because that's all the stuff from the, um, from the incubators. <clears throat> or the insects. Eat. I don't want to eat the stuff I have with me because I want to take it with me. And I should have just drank while I was back in the back, but we'll top it off. And let's go exploring this way uh, toward that potential new uh, biome that we saw on the screen. I want to keep a lookout for more grubs here on the ground or larvae. There's some shiny new aluminum. Not that I really need it, but I'll take it anyway. I don't know if there's some in every biome, or if there's only in some biomes, or how this is works. So we're going to have to figure that part out as we go. Uh, so we might just do a full world exploration looking for um, new larvae. I think I've read somewhere... Oh, there's one. Uncommon. Nice. That'll give us bees and or silkworms. Uh, tree seed humilora. Yeah, I can't remember if those... Ooh, there's another one. I can't remember if that's one that we, um, we are able to make right now or not. What's that? Oh, it's iron. Oh, sweet irony. At least they're kind of bright. I mean, they don't stand out very well in the biome we start in. But they stand out pretty well here, it looks like. Um, they're like a bright orange color. Uh, various shades of bright orange, or brightish orange. So they do kind of stand out a little a little bit, which is nice. Uh, we probably should stop here for some air. Since we're going slowly because we're scouting for larvae. Also, I needed some water. I want to fly, but I also know that flying means that I can't look down at the ground very easily. I can do the strafing runs here a little bit though that kind of helps okay am i just have i just gone blind or did i find like two or three of them right away and then there have been no other ones in this biome but they're gonna be scattered all over the world i think i see one over here i thought i saw something orange maybe not Ah, oh, there it is i did uncommon nice i wonder if there's any in the caves i'm gonna guess no but there could be Okay. Oh, I didn't bring enough stuff for a beacon. We'll have to pick up enough stuff to make a beacon. I don't see any. At least in the path that I followed. Um, but that's fine. I wonder if there'd be any out here in the in this rocky uh, desert area that doesn't ever get terraformed. I'm guessing no to that as well. But I could be proven wrong. I thought that was... Oh, there is one right there. Common larva. Okay. So they, they do appear even when there's not really any plant growth in, in, the, in the biome. That's, um, that's interesting. It, it's good, I suppose. There's one right there, too. Grub. Get my grubby paws on that grub. Let's go and get some air. Anything left in here? No. So we're um, heading that way, I think. Let's grab the uh, s the map here and take a look while we're here in the uh, storage storage department. O to the yes. Oh, this is a new lake here, too. We're definitely going here. Uh, we need to go that way to get into that. But then this lake and stuff looks like it's new, too. So let's go over there and take a look. By the way, the three new biomes are called Waterfalls, Meteor Field, and Mushrooms River. So uh, we'll hopefully we'll recognize them once we get get to them or get into them. I'm going to kind of head west vaguely here, but I'm also looking for grubs on the ground. We obviously don't need to pick them all up. Um, there should be plenty. But... I want to pick up plenty so that we have enough to research all the different species, at least. And we obviously need those few uncommon ones because we should probably put down multiple uh, beehives and silkworm whatevers 
Uh, ooh, this is a new biome. This is most certainly a new biome. I'm going to guess this is Meteor Fields. And this... Pulsar Quartz looks delicious. Uh, let's see, that's not so much. Ooh, Super Alloy. I wonder if you can mine something here. We should go get the stuff for a miner. Uh, zeolite, that's always good. So this is like rare mineral city here. I mean, not that aluminum's rare, as we found out. Titanium looks like a white brain in this zone. This is kind of creepy, though, uh, looking at the sky here, because there's no th there's no apparent atmosphere, in, or it appears to be nighttime all the time. Um, or at least right now, which it wasn't when we crossed over from the other biome. So, um, I mean, if we cross back over, it's blue sky again. You can see the stars above that one. So it's a little bit jarring, I would say. Not that I'm really judging, but it uh, it is a little bit jarring to switch from this into this biome. Tree seed Elegea, 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 Elegant. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I see some osmium over here too, sparkling away. Nice. So we should do a full clear sc clearing scan of this um, of this biome for sure. Uh, let's see, that's all rocky, um, just to look for stuff here. I do want to find a good place to put down a, a, a box, though. Maybe we just put it in the center of this biome? I guess that couldn't hurt. Uh-huh. I don't know if this is a good spot for the teleporter or not, but we could just go, like, right over in here someplace. Uh, I think we need iron for the, um, for the beacon. Beacon, beacon, beacon. Who's got the beacon? Nope, titanium, silicon, aluminum. All right, well, fine. Box, please. Well, box. Uh, human storage. Uh, door. And air. And uh, we could put the teleporter down here for now, at least. Outside, of course. Ooh, there's a grub right there. Uh, let's see, we'll put it right here. And we'll call this one... Uncommon, nice. We'll call this one... Um, uh, meteor field. Whether we keep it here or not, I don't know. Oh, grub, 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 grub. Uh, what was the beacon recipe again? Titanium, silicon, aluminum. What did I have more stuff for? Titanium, silicon. I picked up at least one aluminum. Um, for a beacon. What did I? What else did I bring stuff for? I don't remember what I... I mean, I picked up some stuff, too, but... I feel like I have... More iron. Silicon... Oh, uh, some of that's for the... For the map screen, right? Of course. Now, where am I at? Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're smack dab almost in the middle of this. Uh, so, we need to... This looks like it's solid rock out here. Not that we don't want to search this biome for goodies, but uh, that we want to poke out maybe through here to get out into this green space here, and then, excuse me, hopefully to this uh, to this lake here um, at some point. But I think what we'll do is we'll take these grubs back to base. Beam me up, Scotty, and uh, we'll try to make uh, we'll try to make a bee or a silkworm. Let's see. Yep, bee larva is uncommon, mutagen, and fertilized, which means we need to make more mutagen. Uh, so let's make at least a couple more mutagen. Uh, what do those take again? Bacteria, methane, and sulfur, and bacteria is three algae, three water. All right, so three algae, three water, one methane, one sulfur. Let's go get the water and the algae first, because that's, we need to compress those down. Our butterflies are still here. Fly, my minions, fly. Yeah, they're not flying as much. Uh, but they're here, so that's fine. Um, speaking of water, gulp, gulp. And here, give me all your money. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's um, put most of them back, and we'll go get the algae first. Maybe. There's one. What's that? Oh, magnesium. I was like, is that a plant? Uh, let's see. Really only one here? I wonder if that's bugged. Could be bugged. You? 
I can't click on them. Uh, can I at all? No, it's not clickable. So if that's bug, we'll have to deconstruct it and put it back. But we'd also have um, we also have more algae in the ma in the big lake. So let's go take care of that, or go get that. I mean, some trees we built here. I think I read something about uh, either the 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 tree something different with the tree. Oh yeah, there's plenty here. The tree spreaders. I can't remember what the difference was, but there's something different with them. Plenty of inventory full. Um, there's something different with them. I just can't remember what it is now. Off the top of my head. With the third uh, thing down, we still have 528 kilowatt hours left. Um, we may or may not want to put up another fusion generator then. If we want to, we will need to before we can put up another. Um, uh, Teleporter. So we're kind of at our limit right now. Right, I need more water. Uh, we can go get the rest of that water from here. More algae. So I have. I could use one more algae too. That would be nice. Uh, not you. Uh, here. Just give me all that. I have water collecting out front too. I like how this gets in the nighttime though. It's kind of creepy looking in a good way. Yeah, let's go pick up some more. Well, we could probably make two methane, two sulfur. We may have to go get some of the gas. No, we're good there. Two methane, two sulfur. Make the mutagen, and then we'll grab the fertilizer. We have the fertilizer already. One, a two. Uh, and I have these two here. I'll leave the uh, commons in here for now and put the other commons with them. Not that we don't want them, but uh, I want to run the uncommons and any rares we find for sure. Because commons only give us that one species of butterfly right now, at least. Whereas uncommons give us the bees and the silkworms, and then the rares give us these fancier butterflies. Let's go with bees first. Yeah, bees first. Well, actually, we can't choose. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. And it's going to give us a... Okay. Uh, that's weird that it's showing the common larva there. Um, there should be a silk farm as well that we can unlock. Did we get that? We need to build the butterfly dome. Uh, silk farm. Is that unlocked at the bio lab thing that we don't have yet? So we don't have it yet? Or am I not seeing it? May not have it yet. Uh, let's go back upstairs while that's researching and take a look again at the uh, at the screen that is in here. Silk generator. Okay, so we haven't gotten there yet. We had a little bit more work to do. So hopefully, we get bees and not outdoor farm. Insert a vegetable seed in to grow multiple vegetables. Oh, nice butterfly display box. I didn't scroll this over before. That's it. Okay. Um, so we have a little bit more work to do on those things. Let's go back down now and see if... The, by the way, this staircase just goes up to the roof uh, of this level. Um, I think I used it mostly when I was building these, but yeah, we don't need it anymore. But I'm still leaving it there because reasons. Uh, here. How does this go? We got Silkworm, of course. Because of course we did. Uh, uncommon. Mutagen. Fertilizer. Research. And then start sequencing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect enough stuff for these other two here. And when we come back in the next episode, uh, we should hopefully have um, hopefully have some bees and we can build the bee thing. Uh, we could also uh, research some more of the butterflies using the generic or the basic ones if we want to. Um, and then we can build that butterfly dome someplace, uh, probably somewhere attached to the base here, because it looks like it's like the other domes are. And then we can... Um, we can see from there where we want to go. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.